guys, I am really excited for today's video because I am adding another video in my series on if I had to cut my collection in half. I will have that playlist linked up in the cards so you can see the other videos where I go through and hypothetically declutter half of the products in my makeup collection. I thought it was super fun and before we get into the rest of this video, I wanted to thank you all so much for the love and support on that project. I did receive a lot of views on that project and a lot of really awesome, sweet comments from you guys and a lot of likes. So I really appreciate that because that was something that I was really excited about. So I was happy that I got some good feedback on it as well. It was a lot of fun. I actually, in my last chopping block update, got rid of a lot of things. My next chopping block update will have a lot of declutters as well. So I do feel really happy about that. I learned a lot. So in the comments on one of the videos in that series, so I received a comment on one of the videos in that series from my subscriber, Amy Sue West, and she said this is something that she has done with her nail polish collection, and I thought that was a genius idea. My nail polish collection is relatively huge, and I mentioned it in a couple of videos for my spring nail polishes. I actually had too many to be able to wear all of them if I only painted my nails once a week, and I ended up considering passing on some things that I did actually enjoy. So I realized I am getting to that point in my collection where I do like most, if not all the polishes that I have, and I just have to make some tough decisions. So I thought this would be a really, really fun idea for me to cut my nail polish collection in half and see how I feel about just having that condensed collection and see, hopefully, that I'll be able to get rid of a lot of those. I'm not gonna be actually cutting my collection half, but I do think this project, like with the makeup, is gonna help me get rid of a lot of those nail polishes. So I actually had 126 nail polishes. If I cut that in half, that will be 63 polishes. But as you will see in the video, that's what I did initially. And then I remember there's only 52 weeks in a year and I do paint my nails only once a week typically. So then I brought down my numbers even further down to 52, which was really, really hard, but I was able to do it. So the first part of the video is going to be speed through because there's a lot of polishes, but then I am going to go through and give you the names of everything that I am keeping. And then for the ones that I'm passing on, I do give you my thoughts and reasonings for why I'm decluttering them. So this video is going to be a little bit longer, but I want to make sure you guys are getting best of both worlds, so a little bit of sped up with music. All of the artist information will be linked down below. I really love the music that I found that I incorporated in the other videos in this project, so I'm gonna be using the same music, but then there will be a talking portion as well, so hopefully I can please everyone as best as possible. So without further ado, thank you so much, Amy, for the awesome inspiration for this video, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room I hate how you assume I'll take the pleasure and the pain The sorrows in your brain love both of these polishes but these are really goopy and dried up so these are gonna have to be trash so these are two that I'm actually gonna get rid of
trying hard, but you wanna be my friend. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to. Here we go, here we go again. Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to. If you These two are way too similar. This one is new to me. I got it on super sale. It's Tara and this one is Margot. Margot is a true fave of mine. I know I love it. So then I'll add that to the pass pile. Mm. I guess I'll pass on this OPI. And Susie san climbs Fuji san. One more. What's this? Oh, yeah, I can get rid of this one. OPI Barefoot in Barcelona. Oh, I did it. Oh my gosh. I did it. Let me count again, just be sure y'all know I'm not the best counter. Yeah, so I just counted it up and I have 63 keeps, which is so exciting. I already showed you all the passes. I pulled them up to the camera. I tried to show you the names, not everything focused, but I'll give you a little bit of an overview at the end and tell you why I passed on certain things. But let me just show you all of my keeps. So we've got... My favorite brands in here, I have a bunch of Kale Polish and 9-0 Lacquer. I've got Lights Lacquer, Nails Ink, Wet n Wild, Color Club, OPI, Essie, and Zoyas. So we'll start down here with the Zoyas. These are two of my favorite shades of all time, an amazing formula. We have Wednesday and Bevan. Then... My favorite vampy shade, which is Zoya's Margo in this really pretty pink coral, which is called Wendy. Amazing cream colors. Then these 
Essie's down here are just classic shades for me. So this is Blossom Dandy in the Cabana and Where's My Chauffeur? Did I need all of these? Probably not, but I do really like them. This is Essie's Boxer Shorts. What's the name of this one? This one is Essie's Say It Ain't Soho, which is a really amazing metallic orange copper. We have Stones and Roses, which is a really pretty peach. And then the best bright blue tone red is Double Breasted Jacket from Essie, and this one has a really good formula. Then for OPI, I've got Got Myself Into a Jambalaya and Fearlessly Alice, amazing summer colors. Amazing metallics here. We have Worth a Pretty Penne, Designer De Better, and Glitzerland from OPI. And the last one's really pretty. I bought this color off of eBay. This is Ginger Bells. Then I have these Wet n Wild Wild Shine polishes that were limited edition, Chambray Showers and Ferris Wheel Romance. Again, really nice spring summer shades. I only kept one Formula X. This one is impeccable. It's a really great everyday neutral winter polish for me. And I do like their formula, but this is the one shade I felt like I had to keep. Then from 9-0, I got rid of more than I thought I would, but these are my most favorite. And then I do have some in here that I haven't tried yet. So for the ones I have not used yet, it will be this color maple, which is sickening. Then this color is called decay. Oh my gosh. This one is called mulled wine. Oh. Can't wait to wear those this fall. And then we have this shade from her new collection, the Animal Crossing collection, Fortune Telling Feline. And then these are ones here I know and love. This color is Frost. Then we've got some really pretty fall shades, Igneo Peblet and Turkey Coma. And then some really great spring colors, Robin's Egg and June 2016. Then I have my two holographic color club polishes. We have Harp on it and impeccable, incredible formulas and so pretty. I have three from Nails Inc. This first one is called Chai Kiss, which is really pretty fall color. And then this set was part of a unicorn duo. I could possibly do without these, but these were unique. So I wanted to put them in my keep pile. So the shades are dream dust and rainbow wishes then i have four from lights lacquer these are all untried i got them during black friday but these are fall polishes to me so i'll wear them this year so we have jeffa cold turkey 11 and girl power these look stunning and i imagine they have a similar formula to kale polish i'll certainly hope so but these are everything. And then I'm keeping all of these KL Polish shades. So we have Miss Honey, Aquarius, Ocean Drive, Prince Cornelius, Mother of Dragons, Cozy in there, Marshmallow Sunset, Mozart, Charmed, Medusa, Miami Fever, Lumiere, Caramello, Zoe, Alyssa, Taurus, Peanut Butter, Princess Penny, Chloe, Havana Nights, Leo, and St. Clair. Some of those I have not used, I have not used these three here, but they look so beautiful. I know I want to keep them and all the rest of them I've used before and really, really love. So here are the 63 nail polishes I'm keeping. I actually feel really good about this selection. I still have a ton of fall polishes. Those are just my favorite kinds of shades, but I do still have some things in here for spring, summer, and winter. So that's good and i that's more than one a week right it is isn't it yeah there's 52 weeks in a year i still have more than one a week and that's how much i change my nail polish so i probably need to get down to that number and there are a few more in here that i could possibly see myself getting rid of okay so i actually decided that i did want to try to narrow this down to 52 polishes since they're 52 weeks in the year and i do only paint my nails once a week typically so i pulled out 11 more to pass on this was very challenging so the first three are these more like blue greens which are totally my favorite kind of shade so we've got se cabana where's my chauffeur and opi i'm on a sushi roll good formulas good colors but 
look how many other polishes I have in that same color family. I Well, this one's more minty, but other than that, these five are all in that same color family. So I didn't need those as well. So that still feels silly, but no, I gotta keep those. I got to keep those. So those five are staying, so those three can go. And I also am gonna get rid of those two nails ink polishes because I am keeping kale polish charmed which is similar enough to the nails ink they're not the same kale polish is more purple but I I can do without those because I am keeping this one then cozy in there is a really pretty color but I wasn't in love with that one on me I haven't tried this marshmallow sunset yet and I don't know if I would get a ton of use out of it Mozart I think is really pretty. I have not used this one yet. I think it's a color I would like better on other people. Alyssa, I still kept several other shades in this color family, especially from that Lips and Tips collection. I have Zoe Lumiere and Aquarius and Miss Honey and this Formula X Impeccable. So I have like five polishes in that color family so I can let go of this one. And then these two were a little bit harder. I don't have anything quite like this one. This one is boxer shorts, but I, I don't get a ton of use out of this one, but it is unique, but I guess I can let go of that one. And then this last one was the very last one I picked. It was a little challenging. This is Say It Ain't Soho. It's a really great polish, but again, I've got similar things like this 9-0 lacquer maple and a couple other more metallic shades. So this, if I could keep one more, it would be this one. But yeah, I'm gonna add these to the past pile as well. And here's my past pile. So these two here were pretty easy because these are both really gloopy and dried up. These two don't apply the best, even though they're really pretty shades the application. For these polishes here, I just don't like this kind of glitter. I like like a fully opaque glitter. China Glaze, this is my go-to toe color in For Audrey, but I haven't painted my toenails in a while and I do have similar shades. I love this OPI Mermaid Tears, but this is one of the oldest polishes in my collection and it's really discolored and I have similar things. This Kale Polish November, I could never find out quite what season I prefer this in. It's a pretty shade, but I just don't know when to wear it. All of these ColourPop polishes are actually really good pretty colors. I just don't need them and I have too many spring polishes. This Soap Polish is um, supposed to be more of like a natural nail polish, but I have similar shades and my mom said it's not the most long lasting on the nails. Then I've got these kind of like purpley berry colors, which I think are pretty looking in the bottle, but I don't gravitate towards these on my nails. I just don't like pink on me. This 9-0 Lacquer S'more Hollow just didn't show up that hollow on the nails. These more pastel shades, I wanted them to work on me, but they just didn't. They look kind of funny. This one I think is pretty, but I have others that are a little bit more purple that I prefer. Out of all the similar shades I have from Kale Polish, this one would be my least favorite. This one's really pretty in the bottle, but it's just a little too grass green on my nails. I have other neutrals I prefer. This one is good, but it's similar to the Kale Polish shades I have. I have other nudes and this one's too sheer. I don't really wear brown or black. This one does not look as dynamic on the nails and same with Cottontail. This one used to look more like rose gold and the pink is not showing up anymore. And both of them, it looked like some of the product like evaporated because I've used them, but not that many times. So these just aren't as amazing as they first were. Let it rain, I have a lot of blues from Jess and this one I just don't use as much. If I could keep one more out of this pile, it would have been May 2016. Ooh, do I wanna switch something out? I know, I don't think I can. I, I would have liked to have kept this one. 
This one is really pretty on the nails, but again, I have some things that are similar. I like the Color Club Supernatural a little bit more than this one. And then I got rid of more of those like turquoisey, tealy blue greens because I've got too many of those in my keep pile already. And then the rest of those I like, don't love, or I have really similar shades and I'm okay with just having like one or two in that type. So those are like the overall reasons why I let go of these polishes. So now that I've gone through my polishes, I wanted to show you guys the way that I'm going to organize them. And right here is the tiered nail polish rack that I have on my vanity. And this is where I'm putting all of my keeps. And then I also have got all of my summer polishes right here. Some of these are keeps and some were in the past pile. And then these are just like go-to products. So I've got my toe color, which was in my past pile, but I put it back. I'm keeping it. Then base coats, top coats, nail files, this thing that I never use. Then here I've got more like bluey greens, peachy corals, and then some bright blues. All of those are in my summer polishes. Then we have the rest of these, which are just my keeps. So let me zoom in a little for you. The top row is where I have a lot of my kale polish shades. So I've got all of my more nudes. I've got my two spring colors. Then I have all of my fall shades and that would be all right here. And then some on the second row as well. I think kale polish makes the best fall shades. Then, sorry if this is making you guys dizzy, panning over. I've got my 90 lacquer polishes here, and then I do have a few on the next row down. Then I have my four lights lacquer polishes. I have my three from Zoya, one from Formula X, one from Nails Inc., two from Color Club, three from Essie, and my five from OPI. So I was able to have all of my keeps fit right here for now, but I do see this changing, of course, depending on the season. So those are all my keeps. That's not going to change necessarily, but the seasonal polishes here, like I said, will have keeps and they will have chopping block nail polishes. So right here I have two chopping block nails. And then up here is my monthly makeup basket and these are my nail polishes for the month. I believe these two were in my keep. That was in my past, but I want to test them all out and see what I want to do. So right here in this box is a bunch of stuff I'm decluttering to my friend Jean. So I already have a lot of polishes in here from Kale Polish, this one from Moonshine Manny, and the ones from ColourPop. Then in this other Walmart bag is where I have all of the makeup that I have thrown out this year because it's dried up or gone bad. I always just save it to the end of the year to see how many products there are, and I will be adding these two dried out polishes to that stash. And then here's where I have the rest of my polishes. So before on that rack, I would have my seasonal polishes and then basically all of my indies, like 90 Light Slacker Kale Polish. And then in these boxes, I just had like the rest of my nail polishes, and then I had a box of chopping block nail polishes. Of course, now all of that organization has changed. So in this big box, I have the polishes that I could actually see myself getting rid of. They're going to go in my chopping block to be sure. But then this smaller box is polishes that I put in the past pile for numbers sake. But these are the ones that I don't know if I'll actually be able to get rid of. And I, I might end up hanging on to these or these. I'm going to have to really, really test and will be very challenging for me to pass on. So I'll just show you these really quick. So some... OPI shades just because they're up my alley and they're these KL polish shades would be tough for me. I also have some 90 polishes, which is actually really hard for me to pass on. I know that this May 2016 I actually wanted to put in the keep pile, so that one is not going anywhere. I should probably add that one back on my keep shelf, actually. I know I'm keeping that one for sure. Um, I've got one from Essie that I really like, another from Essie, and then I've got those two from Nails Inc. So those are the ones that I think I'm going to have the hardest time passing on and I might end up keeping all of those, which would be okay because look at the difference between this little box of passes that I'll probably keep and then ones I think I'd actually get rid of. This is a lot. So 
We've got a lot of stuff in here. OPI, Zoya Glisten and Glow, Jolie G. A couple KO polish shades in here as well. China Glaze, some more OPI, L'Oreal, Butter London, Pop Beauty, more KO polish. So not bad. Like this is a lot. So I do feel good about this organization, but they're not going to sit there and be forgotten. All of these are going to be tested in my chopping block series to see what I want to do with them. But I am happy with the way that I reorganized everything and I wanted to share it with you. So that was me cutting my nail polish collection in half hypothetically, of course, but I am hoping that in my next chopping block updates throughout the rest of the year, you will see more polishes that I am letting go of. That is my goal. So I wanted to thank Amy Sue so, so much for this video suggestion. It was really, really fun. It was a great project for me. If you have not seen the makeup versions in this series, I will have my playlist linked up in the cards. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.